It was all power, police on a power trip. How vulnerable are women in police custody? The only reason why they did what they did was to degrade me. With the recent spotlight on misogyny and predatory behaviour within the police... It's just something that the police do for their own perverse kicks. We hear testimony of three women who say they were stripped naked without justification, one claiming she was raped in a police cell. So how are you doing that for? It begins in February 2021, a welfare call-out to a woman high on cocaine. Zaina Iman was arrested after police broke into her house Drugs, okay. and she knocked the glasses off a female officer's face. No, you can't help me. She passed out in the police van but was taken to a Greater Manchester police station. No, I don't I'm carried in, I appear to be unconscious. I'm being restrained despite not being responsive and handcuffed. My jeans are taken down, um, my underwear is cut off, knickers and the bra, as well as my top. They then put oversized custody shorts with a belt on and leave me face down in the cell, still unconscious, with no top on and no blanket given. The search is conducted by women. Zaina obtained this footage using a subject access request. She shared it with former Greater Manchester Police Chief Superintendent Martin Harding. She's left face down, hands behind her back, when they suspect that she might have had a drugs overdose. So where is the duty of care? Yeah. And what was the justification for doing any of that? I've seen no justification at all. I expected to see on the custody record, the custody sergeant ex give the authority and explain the grounds for the requirement for a strip search. I've seen none of that on the custody record. I wasn't a suicide risk at the time. Yeah. I was unconscious, so I needed medical attention. But instead of providing an unconscious female medical attention, they thought, I know, let's take her clothes off instead and leave her there naked. The following year, in October 2022, Kirsty, not her real name, was stripped naked in the same police station after being accused of blackmail by someone that she had accused of sexually abusing her sister. They said to me they was going to strip search me, so I was like, strip search me for what? Because they said I'm concealing. I said, I'm not concealing nothing. They told me if I didn't go in, they were basically going to tackle me to the floor and take my clothes off me anyway, so... She believes the police were heavy-handed because she'd accused them of failing to investigate the sexual abuse allegations concerning her sister and she'd recorded a conversation with a police officer on her phone. Power. It was all power. Police on a power trip to shut me up. It's to make me scared. It's to show we're boss, not you. This year, May 2023, Maria, who we're not identifying, was strip-searched at the same police station. Her partner had been arrested and detained for alleged domestic violence against her and she'd come to get the house keys from him. After several hours of making calls to the police from outside the station, she was arrested for malicious communications, the allegation that she'd sworn at the police during a call. The duty officer ordered a strip search. Once I'd taken everything off, I was like holding my stomach a little bit, trying to keep my dignity. And then she said, no, you need to sit down and open your legs. And then I was a bit, like, apprehensive to open my legs. And then she was like, no, you need to open them fully so I can see. I can see in there. Were these police officers who were strip searching you aware that you were an alleged victim of a domestic abuse assault only the night before? Yeah, they were aware. To authorise strip searches, police have to have reasonable grounds to believe someone is concealing something significant, a weapon, drugs, maybe crucial evidence, such as a mobile phone or a SIM card. Police have told us they thought Maria might have been concealing a vape. The only reason why they did what they did was to degrade me and have that power and control over me. If I was a man, I don't think they would have done it. I was treated like a piece of meat. Zayna has another serious concern. Be absolutely clear with me what you think you can, you can remember happening to you. I believe I was drugged and sexually assaulted during my detainment with Greater Manchester Police. By more than one police officer? Yeah. 
Sky News producer Liz Lane has examined the police logs and 40 hours of the videos. Zayna can't remember the journey in the van and there's no body cam footage after this moment, even though CCTV obtained separately shows an officer getting in through a side door. It should be a 10 minute journey to the police station, but we don't see Zayna again until she arrives in a cell unconscious an hour and a half later. Zayna had a fight to get hold of her custody logs and it took a year of battling to get this cell footage and it was eventually provided jumbled up. But put in order, the custody logs and the video don't match. The stripping naked at around 3.30am is not logged at all. At 5am she finds she's been left a top to wear. Logs say a medical examination was carried out at 5.34 and she was mobile and shouting. CCTV shows no medical examination and she sits on the same spot the entire hour. Zayna appears to be sobering up, but in the nine o'clock hour she throws her drink across the cell. The CCTV of the next hour is not provided by the police. A worrying omission, because at 11am Zayna is topless and is behaving very strangely in a sexual manner. Why would you withhold footage, the very footage that could either Prove or disprove my allegations you will not part with. Who's got something to hide? I'm openly saying that during, at some point during my detention with Greater Manchester Police, I was drugged and sexually assaulted. Prove me wrong. Give me the footage. Zayna is in a state of undress for the next 26 hours. The log says nine times that she's not fit to be detained, yet there she stays. The police log says during a midnight cell visit, Zayna ran at the officer, reached out and grabbed her face, causing two scratches down the centre of her forehead and her left cheek. Now see what really happens. She's just given some food. Remember, Zayna was originally only given the police log, which says her actions in this moment should be recorded as a crime. At one point, she seems to be bleeding. This isn't logged. And during her 40 hours detention, there's another hour of footage missing just after this moment. They're leaving gaps yeah. that will only, presumably, breed more suspicion. Yes. Makes, does it make you suspicious? I believe she was raped. I believe she was raped by an officer. Um, and I believe the organisation is covering up. Zaino went directly to hospital. Her medical report indicates sexual injuries and that she's had a drug-related psychotic episode. I remember being placed in a transportation vehicle and I just felt a sense of relief, like I'm safe now. Um, then I remember being in another place and I was safe. And I remember talking to people through a glass window um, and trying to explain what happened. I'm like pointing here, here, places where it hurt. And who were you talking to? I was actually talking to a hospital staff so you, now. Yeah, so you realised you, you, you got into a hospital? Yeah. A spokesperson for Greater Manchester Police said GMP is aware that these individuals are unhappy with the service they received when they were arrested and detained. Their complaints have or are being investigated by the force. Though one investigation is ongoing, there is currently no evidence to suggest any GMP employees have misconducted themselves or committed a criminal offence. Under the definition within the Police and Criminal Evidence Act, two of these individuals were not strip searched. Due to concerns for their welfare, their clothing was removed and replaced with anti-rip garments. This process is subject to a different legislation and guidance. Greater Manchester Police has not explained why the footage is missing. Call it a strip search or not, each of these three women say it was invasive and unjustified and there should be more accountability over how these things happen. Jason Farrell, Sky News.